All right, second grade. This is our goal sheet. First thing you want to do is you want to put your first and last name on it, and then your teacher code. So if you're in Mr. Herrick's class, 2H. If you're in Mrs. Sexton's class, 2S. Okay. So I'm going to be in Mrs. Sexton's class. We're going to see how well we did with this project using emojis. So we have a kind of a flat face emoji for OK, a smiley face for good, and then a big smiley face for really good. So in our sketchbook it says, I can explore building a drawing using basic shapes. We did that in our sketchbook with our step-by-step -step drawings a long time ago. I thought I did really good with that. So I'm going to color that in. The next one, I can use shapes to build larger drawings of things and people. That is kind of our brainstorming section. So I thought I did okay with that. I could have used more work. I can use my imagination to create an adventure of my own and illustrate it. So that's when we started getting into our project. I thought I really used my imagination for mine. I know what an illustration is. So if you think you know what an illustration is and you can tell me, and you absolutely know, give me a big smiley face. If you think you kind of know, you're pretty sure you can give me a, a regular smiley face. And if you're not really sure, give me one of the flat faces. So I think I know what one is. I can explore different crayon coloring techniques and experiment on black paper. That's in our sketchbook, too. That's when we practiced using those um, exciting crayons on black paper. We practiced dark, medium, and light. I thought I did really good with that. I can use three different coloring scales in an artwork using crayons, so light, medium, and dark. This is where I have to look at my artwork. Did I use a lot of light, medium, dark? Could I have used more? I definitely think I could have used more in my middle part of my story. So I'm going to give myself an okay face, or a good face, because I think I could have done more. I can work independently on my artwork and I make good use of art time. Do you need a lot of reminders during our class? Are you always on task? Okay, those are some things. Mrs. Cantello needed to give me some reminders sometimes. I can evaluate my artwork and use of time. So this says, can I honestly answer all of these questions for Mrs. Cantello? And I think I can. I think I did a really good job honestly answering. And then you want to hand both your project and your goal sheet to Mrs. Cantello.